Let's talk about formatting one of the most important elements of your APA research paper, the References page. The References page serves several very important purposes. It lists all of the sources that you've referred to in your paper, and it connects with your in-text citations to help your readers access the work of others that you've quoted or paraphrased to support your ideas. The References page starts on its own page at the end of your paper. It's formatted in Times New Roman 12 double-spaced. The word references is centered at the top and all of your entries are listed in alphabetical order with hanging indents. So the first lines at the margin and all of the lines after that are indented. Let's look at some examples of formatting references in APA style. We'll start with a book. The book citation begins with the author's last name, comma, first initials. Next the year of publication in parentheses, followed by a period, the title of the book in italics, the city of publication, and the publisher. That's it. Perfect. That was easy. Let's try another one. The source that you'll probably refer to the most for your reference papers is the journal article from our database. Here's how you format this citation. Begin with the author's last name followed by their first initial. We follow that with the date of publication in parentheses. Next is the title of the article written with sentence capitalization, meaning the first letter is capitalized and everything after that is not. An exception would be that you capitalize the first letter of the word after a colon if you have one. Add a period, then the journal title in italics, a comma, the volume number, and the issue number in parentheses, and then the page numbers. Finally write retrieved from and copy and paste the URL. In APA style, if the DOI is available, add that to the end of the entry in place of the URL. There's no period after that. What if you want to create a citation for an article from a website with an author or authors? You begin by naming the author last name, comma, first initial. If there are multiple authors like we have for this source, you name them all with an ampersand before the last one. APA style guidelines say that if you have eight or more authors, you should name the first six, then use an ellipsis before naming the last author on the list. That helps keep the list from overflowing on your page. After the last first initial, include the date of publication in parentheses. Follow this with the title of the article, done in sentence style capitalization, then a period, and type the words retrieved from and the full URL. What if the article has no author? Simply begin with the title of the article and follow the rest of the guidelines. A YouTube video is a source you may want to reference in your paper. Do this by beginning with the author's last name, comma, first initial, period. If there's no author's name for the video, it's okay to use the poster's screen name. You follow this with the date in parentheses and the title of the video in italics. Next, write the words video file in brackets with a period. Then, retrieved from and the URL. There will be other types of sources that you may want to cite in your references. How do you do it? Follow an example or a model. It's very important that you get the references entries correct, especially since the first part of each entry will help you format your in-text citations. You will get better and better at citing references in APA style the more you practice, but when you're getting started, it's important that you follow or refer to an example or a model for the type of source that you're using. The Writing Center handouts are very helpful for this, and so are your APA handbook and sites like the Purdue OWL. If you're using a source from our library database, most will give you an accurate APA citation if you click Citation Tools on the right-hand side and choose APA Style. However, even with this help, you may still want to check each entry to be sure it has all of the elements that are needed. And always double-check things like your content and your punctuation. You'll be glad you did. In order to complete this workshop, finish the References page activity and bring it to the Writing Center to double-check your understanding of what we've covered here. And remember, you can always bring your paper at any stage to the Writing Center to have our friendly tutors take a look and offer their assistance. See you soon.